evening, everyone. We start with breaking news tonight. Tensions rise on the streets of Ferguson again for another night. Tonight, police and riot gear line the streets to prevent another riot. And this comes after a police officer shot and killed an unarmed teen over the weekend. Jenna Hancher joins us live from Ferguson. Jenna, it sounds like you've been right in the midst of tear gas there for the past 30 minutes. We have. They sprayed it actually about 30 minutes ago, and we're staying a, a good distance away because of that tear gas. As you can see right now, you can see where those police officers have lined the street. What they're blocking off is West Florissant Street. That's the street where people were rioting and looting last night. That's the street with the quick trip on it that was burned down, and that's why they have that area blocked off. So it seems the frustration is still very present tonight in Ferguson. As night falls, the tension is starting to grow in the neighborhood where 18-year-old Michael Brown was shot by police. The body was just laid out. Like, he was laid out there for four and a half hours. Jerrica Tyler was there for the traumatic chaos. It was just a mess everywhere. People were screaming, yelling, like being disrespectful to the police, disrespectful to each other. It was just out of control. Tonight, workers at the Galleria Mall were forced to close their stores early. It was traumatic because yesterday got really violent and I would hate for that to happen around here. These people are killing our kids. And mixed emotions outside of a St. Louis area church where the NAACP together. called people together for I mean, prayer. For many here tonight, they want peace and justice. I think people are tired, people are fed up. And I think that when, you know, when so many incidents keep happening, Trayvon Martin, the situation in New York, uh, Jordan Davis, when so many situations keep happening, there's no justice being served. What, what do you expect people to do? I think people are tired. I, I think people are tired. So what's frustrating for a lot of people here is that they haven't been able to get to their homes. Um, so they said because that area is blocked off. So it's not clear tonight kind of what's going to be happening um, after this because it's been a very frustrating, very tense for a lot of people here. If that violence is going to continue, there has been a call to end that violence, to end that destruction. But we'll see what happens after 10 o'clock tonight. We'll keep you posted on Twitter and online and on KSHB.com. Reporting live here in Ferguson, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News.